Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sheep Get Sheared podcast, home of people, politics, and popular culture. I'm your host, Austin Creed, but my friends, you know, this is going to be a probably one of the most dangerous shows I've ever done. Despite the fact that we live in a free country, despite the fact <clears throat> that you live in America, most likely, there was a book that was done by a man named George Orwell. He wrote a book called 1984, and in 1984, there was a slang of the regime in power, and the slang went as follows, Big Brother is watching you. Ladies and gentlemen of the Sheep Get Sheared podcast, we have entered, and I'm sure we've been here for a little while, but it's become so naked, so apparent, that I have to bring it up today. Story came out yesterday that I heard about after I did the show yesterday by Infowars, in other words, done by Alex Jones, where he brought up paperwork about from Twitter exposing how the United States government through the Department of Homeland Security has been funding the McCarthy Institute and they've been using the money in an attempt to steer traffic away from red pill content creators, guys like Rolo Tomasi, Fresh and Fit, Andrew Tate, you know, same stuff. But not only are they diverting it, they are replacing it. They are diverting the traffic away from them and to opposite content. In other words, OnlyFans chicks, uh, government jesters, Puppets of the New World Order. Useless crap, like where are my pants guy from the Lego movie. You know, that kind of crap. Ladies and gentlemen, do you have any idea what this means? Your government is more afraid and considers guys like me, guys like Tate, guys like Rolo, guys like Fresh and Fit, Myron. They consider them more dangerous than the invaders on the southern border, more dangerous than Antifa, more dangerous than the Islamo-fascist cells and bums in the United States who are calling for the overthrow of the government every day while training with guns in places in this country, and imams who talk about overthrowing the government. They view guys like Rolo, guys like Fresh and Fit, guys like Tate, as more dangerous than them because instead of watching them instead of using the money to stop them they're using the money to stop me to stop them ladies and gentlemen this is what we talk about on this side of the internet when we talk about the new world order there is a concerted effort in this country and around the western world to forsake our traditions, forsake our values, forsake the things that made us great, that allowed us to win World War I and World War II, to become a begging basket case oligarchy equivalent to the Soviet Union, Nazi Germany, and everywhere else in the world with tin pot dictatorships and a two-class system of serfs and supremes. Think I'm making this up? then you, would you care to explain to me why the Department of Homeland Security would give millions of dollars of funding to stopping the dispread and discourse of free speech? And I would love, I would love to know what your argument is because I'd also love to thank Elon Musk for allowing this type of transparency on his platform. Because it wouldn't have been possible to get this information without him. My friends, this this is really wild to me. Because it shows money talks, my friends. So when they're spending money on stopping the spread of information amongst men, make no mistake about it, government the government fears men, they don't fear women. Women are not historically 
the people who start revolutions. They fear the men. And I don't think we need a revolution in this country. I think we need to get the bums out of high places who are corrupt, greedy, and power hungry. I think that's what we need to do. But I don't think we need a revolution in this country. I'm not a revolutionary. I don't think it's necessary, but yet the Department of Homeland Security probably has a file on me. They probably have a file on you. They definitely have files for various people on this side of the internet. But why do you think that this is so important to them that they wouldn't use the money to go after the Muslims in this country who would like to overthrow the state? Why do you think they would allow the immigrants to pour over the border? Why do you think that they wouldn't arrest Antifa who's also trying to become the, the stormtroopers of the left wing? Why do you think that they wouldn't stop them with the money but instead want to stop you from listening to the show, to other shows on the side of the internet? Why do you think they want to do that? I see the numbers on, on YouTube. There was one video I did about Christianity, Jews, and, Is and Islam. That one did really well almost instantly, and then they stopped it. They capped it. They have shadow banned me, my friends, because I see on Twitter how well my comments actually do. I get a tremendous amount of traffic for the amount of followers I have on Twitter because it's actually a free platform, and people actually don't suppress me on Twitter. But I see the suppression on YouTube. I see the suppression on who offer to monetize this show and who doesn't. I see it. If I talked about how men need to basically worship women and how women are wonderful and deserve everything and whatnot on this show, I guarantee you my numbers would be in the millions. I guarantee it. Because I'll make comments that I make during this show every day on Twitter and I get hundreds of thousands of views. You don't believe me? Go to my X page at Sheep Get Cheered and look at my numbers that I get on a lot of my impressions. Go ahead. You don't think I'm if I think if you think I'm making this up, I'm not making this up. I get hundreds of thousands of impressions on a lot of the things that I say. But yet they'd have you believe I don't exist. They'd have you believe that guys like Fresh and Fit and whatnot are on the decline when in fact they're on the rise. Because a lot of men are sick of the gaslighting and being told that you'll own nothing and like it. But that's why Big Brother is watching you, because he doesn't want you to like what you're listening to. He wants you to simp. He wants you to marry used up women. He wants you to not be worried about the Muslim invasion, the, is the immigrant invasion, the Islamo-fascists, the throwbacks. They don't want you to worry about that. They want you to worry about guys like me, guys like Tate, guys like Myron, guys like Rolo, guys like CGA. That's what they want you to be worried about, not me. I don't think that's where the worry should be. Ladies and gentlemen, if you think that I am being facetious or comedic in the political arena, you're mistaken. In fact, if I am so off the off the right path on this, can you kindly explain to me why then the most states in the United States of America, with rare exception, have zero voter ID laws? Yeah, you heard me right. I'm not making this up. I've shown it on the show before. If I'm so conspiracy theory orientated, can you kindly explain to me why... It just so happens that the states with no voter ID are seeing the biggest influx of immigrants. I grew up in California. I saw what happened during the election of 2020 when I voted for the first time. Of 2022. No, no, 2020. Of 2020, I went in to vote. And I remember I handed the old I went to hand the older lady with the tennis sneakers and the smile, I went to hand her my ID, my driver's license. She said, oh no, 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 we don't need to see none of that. You're okay, sweetheart. And then she ushered me in. And I said, huh? What? what are you, no voter, no ID? How do you know that I'm even a legal resident of the state, of the country, of the county? Answer, they don't. They don't care. 
they don't care because guess what? They know they give so much money, so many social benefits, so much propaganda to the schmuck out there that he'll vote for this crap. That's why they know it. Why do you think the illegal aliens are coming here and the the government's paying for their housing, their medical care, and everything else? Because they're nice people? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. It's because they're nice people. Oh, yeah. How did Nancy Pelosi go from being an average woman to being the most... You know, rich woman, the richest woman on the planet, and well, in Congress. Why? Because she's a nice woman. Don't you people see it? Don't you people get it? They're crooks. They're gangsters. They're the Godfather, every one of them, and yet they you'd have they would have you believe that they're there for you. They're not there for you. They're there to to get their bag any which way they can while consolidating all the power they can and get away with it. That's all. Oh. <sighs> See, but me telling you this is dangerous. Because when I tell you this, how do I know, like that guy that's, that, made one, that made one off comment about Joe Biden and then got wasted by the FBI, who don't have to wear cameras, by the way, beat cops in your city, have to wear GoPros on their chests to make sure that they're not, there's no police brutality. Uh, the feds don't have to do that. So how do you know that I'm not going to end up like that guy who made one off comment about Joe Biden and then they found him dead the next day in his house, killed by the FBI, executed in cold blood, like the Gestapo in, in, in Italy in the 1930s? How do I know that's not going to be me? How I know they're not just going to pull up, say I did something X, Y, and Z, and then execute me like it's the Mafia or the cartel. You don't. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm being serious here. First, they suppress me. They suppress guys on the side of the internet. Then what happens next? Well, just look at what happened to... What was his name? Andrew, Bite Andrew Breitbart? Oh, yeah! You Did you ever hear about that one? They they poisoned him, allegedly. Allegedly, of course. Of course, I'm never gonna, never gonna prove it, for sure, because, you know, that's how it works. But, my friends, this is no laughing matter. And if you're preying on the downfall of guys like, guys like me, or guys on the side of the internet, you're a sick person, because let me tell you something. There was a priest in Germany who was a Catholic, and he said that first they came for the communists, but I did not speak up because I was not a communist. Then they came for the gypsies, but I said nothing because I wasn't a gypsy. Then they came for the Jews, but I said nothing because I wasn't a Jew. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. That will be you. If you prey on the downfall of me or people like me on the side of the internet who have a similar message... You might be saying, oh, who cares about those bums? They're spreading this and that. I don't like how they sound. I don't like their attitude. You know, go to hell. Well, who knows? That it, who, how do you know it won't be you tomorrow? Us, it might be them today. Me tomorrow. Who's going to be next after me? You? Maybe. It's a domino effect, my friends. One domino falls. The others eventually fall with it. But, but you wouldn't know that because you're too busy smoking dope trying to find sex every two minutes and everything else. You're not worried about what's actually important in this country. You don't deserve freedom as far as I'm concerned. You might as well be a bull in a, in a field with a nose and with a little thing in your, in your ring, the septum ring, like most women have today already. You might as well be a, a cow in a field mooing and grazing, for God's sakes. But my friends, do you think this is a big issue like I do? I think this is a huge issue. What do you think? If you like what you heard and you want to support me or other people on the side of the internet, the time to do it is now. Because we're only going to be more castigated and more fought against as time goes on. But my friends, it's time for you to really step up and be counted or things could go south really quickly. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless America. We need to act with purpose because then we have real enemies out here and the people who are supposed to protect us are turning on us the sheepdogs are becoming the wolves and what are you going to do about it i'll let you decide peace